This is very, very significant in my mind. Now, not for gamers, but if you're doing any productivity work, you might just want to spend your money getting an Apple product. And I thought, in all honesty, well, I would never say that, but I just said it, and I actually mean it, because these processors that Apple have released, the M4, M4 Pro, and M4 Max, are crazy. I've seen some initial results and some people talking about what they can do and the performance on them. It's insane. They are very, very fast and very, very efficient as well. Two amazing combinations. So specifically, this article talks about how the Apple M4 has outperformed Intel's and AMD's top tier CPUs. So from Intel, the Core Ultra 9 285K, and from AMD, the Ryzen 9 9950X. How much faster? Well, not a lot, but still it's faster. And keep in mind that this is only in this benchmark called Geekbench 6. All right, so let's first go through the single core benchmarks here for Apple, Intel, and AMD in that order. First, the M4 Pro scored 3,925 points. Intel scored 3,450, so a little bit less, and a little bit less also for AMD, 3,359. Now, when it comes to multi-core performance using this benchmark, Mark. Actually, Intel did a little bit better than the M4 Pro because Intel scored 23,024 points and the Mac 4 Pro chip scored 22,669 points, but AMD scored well, much worse than Apple and Intel at a score of only 20,183. Now, this is all, all very, very interesting because if you are looking at building a new computer system, what is going to give you the best bang for your buck? Apple is, I think, going to do extremely well with this new M4 chip. Now, I have seen other sites talking about the overall performance of the M4 compared to the M3, and it is significant in most cases, even when you're looking at the base M4, not the Pro or the Max. And the new Mac Mini will be released very soon. I believe it's on November the 8th. Eighth, and you can get yourself into one of these Mac minis with the new M4 chip for a reasonable price. Now, these are Canadian costs and these are education savings. I believe this base model is $7.99. That's where they start from in Canada, but that might be like $4.99 in the States, I believe. Very reasonable. And there's nothing wrong with getting the base model of this if you're okay with this little bit of storage here which is only 256 gigabytes but you do have fast thunderbolt 4 actually on the base version of it if you want to upgrade you can and get thunderbolt 5 and i believe it comes with faster wi-fi as well but all things considered you're getting a lot of bang for the buck on this base version of the new mac mini and i am actually going to pick up the base version of this and see how it performs in my daily tasks i have a pretty robust setup here and some of you might be wondering well why would you be doing that well i want to kind of move away if i possibly can when it comes to productivity tasks away from Microsoft and specifically Windows 11 and where Microsoft is taking Windows in general with major, major privacy concerns. And I want to investigate Apple's OS and go from there. Now, I am familiar with Apple's OS. I have an M1 uh, laptop and it is stellar, fast, quick, 
battery lasts a long time. It's just an amazing, amazing laptop overall. And if you are considering a mini PC, maybe for example, a Windows 11 uh, PC with an Intel CPU or an AMD CPU, instead of that, you might want to consider this because to be honest on those, when it comes to gaming, well, it's probably not much better than this overall. Although some of these mini Windows PCs are getting pretty darn quick. So yeah, this is going to be a very interesting adventure using this as a daily driver and I will let you know how it goes.